Hello, viewers of um, or ninth graders watching our videos in, in Biba. Um, uh, I am Andy, and together with Tiger, we will be doing a short book review for Sherman Alexie's um, best selling The Absolutely True Diary of a Part Time Indian. The Absolutely True Diary of a Part Time Indian focuses on the story of Arnold's spirit. Arnold suffered from brain damage when he was six months old. This led to Arnold having a rather large head and a rather large pair of foot. Arnold is a Native American born in Spokane tribe located in Washington. He grew up on the reservation together with his parents, sister, and grandmother. Being the book's narrator and protagonist, Arnold narrates his problems with being Spokane, broke, and bullied while trying his best to play basketball and make new friends. The book in some ways is an uh, autobiography as Arnold's character reflects upon Sherman Alexie's own teenage years. Alexie also grew up in the Spokane reservation in Washington had the same problems with Ar as Arnold did in the book, and played basketball all the way up to college. Right. The book is set in Washington Spokane Tribe Reservation. As mentioned, Arnold grew up on the reservation. The res, as we will now call the reservation, has lots of pine trees, three high schools, and the Native Americans living there are all broke. The school Arnold attended at the reservation at first is called Wapenet High School. It is the best school on the res. Uh, Wapenet. Uh, Weapon's mascot is the Weapon Redskins, and they have a fairly strong basketball team. A teacher, Mr. P. at Weapon, advised um, Arnold to, to, to step out of the Reds to find a new school because he was smarter, he was different, um, more different than all the kids on the Reds. And that's what Arnold did. Arnold moved to Reardon High School, which is 22 miles away from Arnold's house in the Reds. Verdon has an all-white student body, Arnold being the only exception, and their mascot is, ironically, the Indian. Arnold struggled to fit in at first in Verdon, but then he became friends with Penelope, Roger, and Gordy, who helped Arnold to fit in. The book is written in a diary style with, with informal language. Arnold narrates the book and marks out important days of his teenage life. Throughout the book, there are short comics illustrating some of the events that happens in the story. Arnold enjoys drawing these comics, and these comics are an uh, important part of the story. Uh, all of these aspects of writing make the book much more humorous and enjoyable to read. Uh, so to conclude, um, we have a two-minute podcast. Um, Tiger and I will discuss some of the experiences we have um, on the book and some of the opinions we have. and. Um, we're also going to talk about an article um, Alexi wrote regarding the book itself. Um, so, so what experiences do you have, Tiger, for after reading um, this book? I feel like this book is rather unique since uh, it's different from most of the other young adult books that I've read. This book contains a lot of uh, tragic events and strong, uh, some strong language, and uh, I think it's just that it has a very different feeling. Different meaning behind it, it yeah. seems like. Yeah, definitely, I agree. I, I feel like the book, you know, is it, it's trying to evoke a message, and, and I, I feel like it did. Um, in, in Terminal Lexi's um, article, uh, Why the Best Kids Books Are Written in Blood, he, he, he mentioned uh, this young man who attended uh, a the private high school in, in the States, and um, he mentions agony and, and why he, you know, ha, ha, he, 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 was, he was a millionaire's child. And, and he, even he can uh, feel the same way Arnold did in, in, um, in the book. And I feel like, um, you know, we, we felt the same. We, we have these, you know, feelings and, uh, and uh, emotions that we, we can't exactly express. But the book help, helps us um, express it, don't you think? Yeah, I think that's exactly true. And also, I think, like, this book... Uh, like it really serves the purpose that Sherman Lexi was trying to uh, trying to express. Uh, what uh, I think there are a lot of kids out there in the world that can connect to this book and like connect it to uh, their bad experiences and the, the hardships that they faced in life. And maybe somehow reading this book, it can give them the support and help they need. And I, I, I called Sherman Lexi himself here in his article. Um, he said, there are millions of teens who read 
this book because there are seven lonely men raged. Uh, they, they read because they live in an often terrible world. They, they read because they believe, despite the caliph uh, possibilities of certain adults, that the, um, the book's especially dark, and it renders one of us them, which is, he's, he's talking about his own book, basically. Um, and to end, um, how would you rate this book out of 10, if, if you would rate it? I think comparing it with all the other young adult books I read, I'd say, uh, about a seven or an eight because this is one of the better books that I read and it's a, it's a real page turner. Yeah, I, I definitely think it's better than most young adult books which focuses on dystopian futures and uh, teen romances. I, I feel like uh, the, that's not the meta anymore. And, um, and kids like us, we don't exactly enjoy those books. And plus this book has um, a much deeper meaning. Um, so, so that's it for our short review of the book. Um, uh, thank you for listening and, and watching some of the beautiful illustrations in by Tiger. And bye-bye. Um,